Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of MMA and Coffee. On this episode, we're going to make predictions for UFC on Fox 17. The prodigal son has returned. <laughs> <laughs> With my Star Wars mug, go see the movie this weekend. I'm advertising. Uh, we're not getting paid for it, I don't need to do that shit. Cut that out. Michael Johnson, how do you see it going? You want the short version or the long version? Uh, short, short version. Short, the short version, I think he's going to get rest fucked. He <laughs> being Diaz, and I think he's going to lose. That's what I think. That's what I see too. Actually, um, wait, am I not supposed to drop off bombs? Yeah, we'll <laughs> just go <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually see the fight similar. Make it a cow move. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Um, I actually see the fight going similar. Uh, one reason why is because Nate hasn't fought in a long time. He's kind of looked like he's in decline too a little bit. Like he hasn't looked so hot in the last few fights. Between, really had. between that and uh, any time he's taken time off and came back, he hasn't looked good. Yeah, his, his first fight back is usually pretty rough. I mean, he did that yeah. against Dos Anjos and he got destroyed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, give it to Michael Johnson. Um, uh, do you think it's going to be a decision? I, I kind of feel like he can't finish him. Because he's, he's pretty durable. He has been finished recently, but... That was a head kick. So right, yeah. so that's a respectable way to get finished. <laughs> so, uh, I think it'll probably be a decision. Yeah. Maybe 29. He might He might still around. It, it, I could see 30-27 or 29-28. I, I tell you what, the only way... It'll be unanimous, I doubt it's split. The only way Nate Diaz wins this fight is if... He stays on the outside and keeps him on the feet, and he outboxes. Yeah, if he if he can stop the takedown, it gets interesting. That's that would yeah, I agree. Yeah, so if if he actually if Michael Johnson fights him stupid and just stays on the feet, I could see Nate Diaz outboxing him. Will he do that? I don't think so. I think he's and just even then Johnson's a risk for like knocking him out because he's got some pretty good power. It's not like it's not like he's known for it, but he does he does have it. So. That and he mixes it up. Yeah, He's, yeah. So it, it would be interesting on the feet, but uh, yeah, Diaz would have to be favored. Yeah, and, and but uh, chances are he's gonna get taken down. And you know, going in his fight, Diaz is just gonna want to box with him. Right. So the only the another way he could potentially win is if since you know the Diaz is flip you off and talk trash in the fight. If he gets him to, if he gets Johnson to start fighting stupid, he pisses him off. That might work. Yeah. So he did, he, I mean, he did that to Cowboy. Right. So. So he's had success in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't. Johnson doesn't strike me as kind of. No. He's not a hot hit like Cowboy. Yeah. So, so. so uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so the next fight is Junior Dos Santos against Alistair Overeem. Pretty biased. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, like I'm, I know we're trying to be like analytical and stuff, but I'm a really big Junior Dos Santos fan. But outside of that, uh, Overeem has been pretty chinny in his whole career. You're going up against a guy. The knockout power like Junior's got. Common, I think the the safe bet, or probably most people think he's probably gonna knock over him out. The only thing is, uh, Junior hadn't fought too much lately. His last fight didn't look good. So I'm not sure what Junior's gonna show up. Is he gonna look all right? Because if it's the way he fought against Stipe, I could see over him maybe still in a decision. Yeah, in my opinion, I think this, uh, this fight should happen a couple years ago. Yeah, it was scheduled for like, when, what, three years ago? Originally? Yeah, it's, this fight should have already happened, mm -hmm. so... With that said, I don't see it being much different. Uh, I think... Assu assuming they're the same. Assuming the Junior's the same and they show up the same. Yeah, I, I assume that uh, Junior has the potential to knock him out, in my opinion. Um, Overeem could knock him out, though. That's always the thing. I know that like, Junior's got a crazy chin, but Overeem does have a lot of power. If Alistair Overeem smart, the way for him to beat Santos is in the clinch with his knees. Yeah. I think that's that's definitely that the biggest be, advantage. That would be his way. Um, do I see him taking Junior down? I, I don't. If he did, I, I see him popping right back up. So I don't think that's the way to win. But his kicks and knees could potentially hurt Junior or slow him down at least and make the fight interesting. 
I yeah. mean, if if Overeem fought smart and safe, like he did against Big Country, like he get, did against uh, Frank Mir, he could steal the decision. It would be a born fight, but he could do it. Whereas uh, I think Junior. And it's only a three round fight, so that's in Overeem's favor, really. Five round fights in Junior's favor. But that's a good point. With the body shots and stuff, he could potentially wear Junior down if he could land some good ones. And if he could, you know, kind of gas Junior out with the body shots a little bit, he could steal some rounds. But Overeem historically has done way better in the earlier rounds than in the later rounds. If, if he keeps his hands up and he stays back and throws his kicks to the body, his knees, I could see him winning a decision. Uh, that would be the way he would win. But for me, I think unless he just got a flash kick, I think uh, Junior is going to knock him out. Yeah, I do too. That's I think. Uh, I'm going to go with second round. I think he, it, the first will probably be a good bit of filling out. I think. But Junior sometimes like that can fight. He just went for it. So if he feels it, it could be first. But I think it's going to at least make it out of first. I'm thinking second. I think at the end of the first, I, I think Overing's going to play it safe. He's going to play it smart. Uh, and I can see towards the end of the first. Junior hurt me. Mm -hmm. It go into the second, and then the second him finishing it. So pretty much the same prediction. Yeah. Okay. It's All right. Interesting. We need to argue. <laughs> <laughs> so the main event: Dallas Cerrone against Rafael dos Anjos. Um, to me, it depends who shows up for this fight. Which version of uh, both fighters? I think a lot of it depends on, yeah, like Cowboy, needs, he can't get off to a slow start. He, he doesn't, I mean, I guess potentially he could come back, but he doesn't need to be trying to come back if he's going to win this fight. He needs to start off competing in the first round, potentially winning the first round, because this could potentially be a long fight. They're both, I mean, from what we've seen, they're both pretty durable. I know Cowboy got head kicked by Pettis, but like outside of that, you know. It was a Body, oh yeah, you got dropped by a body shot, that's right. Yeah. That had to be vicious. But uh, outside of that, like Cowboy's pretty tough. Los Angeles pretty tough. So, I mean, you, I'm, I think if you're going to see a finish, it's going to be a late finish. Not, you're not, I, I doubt first or second round. Uh, another interesting factor to take into consideration is in their first fight, because this is a rematch, their first fight, uh, Dos Anjos rocked Cowboy. Yeah, he hit him hard. Yeah. That could have affected the whole fight. Yeah, if he doesn't catch him like that in this fight, who knows? The fight could go down. With, like that fight could have gone. Yeah, who knows different. how much that actually affected the outcome? Uh, maybe not so much because uh, Dos Anjos, he's very active. He he was more busy. He mixes it up with his takedowns. Um, and that fight, he was actually able to control him for periods of times on the ground. Um, he just mixes it up very well, whereas Cowboy, we kind of know what he's going to do. Right. They've both gotten better, though, since then, especially in the striking department. Like, their hands have both gotten a lot better, because Cowboy always had the kicks, but I feel like he's starting to, like, learn how to use his range a little bit more with his hands. And obviously, after, I mean, the, the Pettis fight with Dos Anjos showed, like, his striking has improved immensely over the years. Not only that, uh, one thing we need to take in consideration is... Um, Cowboy has fought three times this year. Yeah. Los Angeles fought. That's it? He usually fights like seven or eight. Well, this is the fourth time in <laughs> one year he's fighting. <laughs> um, whereas Dos Anjos has only fought once against Anthony Pettis. Yeah. So in, if you're looking at just little factors that might affect the fight, the fact that Cowboy is active, he fights better when he's active. He does. He just does. He gets in a rhythm. Um, he doesn't start off as slow. That's true. If he starts off slow and he's trying to come back, he he usually like the fight might be exciting and stuff. Like he has some of those like the first bendo fight and, and uh, but he usually loses if he has to do that. He, it might be a crazy fight, but he usually loses. So he definitely needs to start strong. Mm -hmm. That's like the biggest thing. And Dos Anjos, I think there's less of a less of a question on him. I feel like he's gonna show up probably looking just as good as he did against Pettis. So. This is, I mean, in fact, he's got to be motivated for this fight. Oh, right? oh you, you, you know, know it's his first he's, he's a hard worker. Yeah. And uh, this might be a little controversy, okay. what I'm about to say, but I think Bring the I think the fight depends on how Dos Anjos looks physically in the weigh-ins. 
If you yeah, he has some pretty rough weight, but it's funny. I don't know, but he's he's very big for lightweight. But I, I'm yeah. saying physically, if he looks the same as he did against Pettis, then we know he's ready. Yeah. But with the IV band, with all uh, the drug testing getting um, more stricter, I'm not saying he, he's using. But I will say, if he looks like Eric Silva did with love handles and he's mm. fat, that's gonna like be like okay. I, just from that, how he looks physically in the weigh-ins will tell me if which dosage is. If he's show. not if he's not in shape, I don't think he can make weight though. Honestly, like if he's not cut and in shape, he, I mean he's kind of he's he's put on some muscle in the last few years. So I don't see if he's got any extra fat on him, he might just wait. Well, I don't see him missing weight. I don't either. So saying, if saying. he looks, if he doesn't look as he's, ripped, he's gonna have to be ripped. I think to even make weight. If he doesn't look ripped, though, to me, that's like okay. I would yeah. definitely start swaying with Cowboy, yeah. uh, having the advantage. So it just depends on which on yours. So what's you your pick? Though? What's your pick? Cowboy. Cowboy, really? And I'll tell you why. Uh, he's been more active. Uh, and then I, I watched like the, it wasn't embedded, but it was one of the backgrounds and uh, his grandma doesn't have much time left and he's already kind of been dedicating this fight for his grandma. So think, uh, it's like a little extra motivation. I think, I think that little edge, uh, there was a fight, I can't remember which one, where his grandpa passed away mm -hmm. and he put on a really good show. So uh, I, I do think we're not going to see a cowboy not motivated. He's very motivated yeah. to win this fight. He wants uh, his grandma to see him become champ before she, before she goes away. So little things like that. The fact he's more active. They can make a difference. I, I can see sure. that, that. You know. Again, and it just depends on what's on your we see. I'm gonna go with cowboy too. Uh, like part of me, I kind of feel like uh, after the Pettis fight in particular, Dos Anjos is like. It was really impressive. He might be a little bit more well-rounded when he factor in the ground game. I don't really think there's going to be a lot of ground game though. So I'm going to go with. I mean, I'm going to go with Cowboy on this, and I'm also biased on this too because I like Cowboy. But well, you guys think maybe I mean, you know what? Decision is kind of like the uh, you know the maybe the obvious choice, but I don't like picking decisions because that's boring. So I'm going to go with like a, a championship round, maybe fourth, fifth round finish. Cowboy. Uh, he's gonna. It's gonna be a TKO if he gets it. Uh, I actually think it might be sooner. You think so? I think he's gonna. He's gonna look to finish. He's gonna look to avenge that loss. He's got the motivation for it. He's been active. He shouldn't. There's no reason for him to start slow in this fight. Hey, I'd be fine. And if he doesn't, it will also be able to see how much him getting caught early in the previous mm -hmm. fight, how much that played a factor. Yeah. And you gotta feel like the UFC is gonna want Cowboy to win. Yeah, he's more marketable. He's he more speaks English. He's more marketable and he's more active. Yeah, it's a perfect like you couldn't ask for more for a champ. And then uh, and they want to sell a Conor and Cowboy fight. That's like the one thing we haven't said. It's like the big the elephant in the room. They're trying to sell Cowboy and Conor. Like that's that's what they want. Not only do they want the McGregor and Cowboy fight, I feel like it just goes into Connor's favor to fight Cowboy than Dos Anjos, who could potentially just take him down and yeah. grind him. Yeah. I, I, I would actually see it. You know, Cowboy could potentially do that too, but he won't. He won't, but he could. <laughs> actually, I think if Cowboy was sparring against Connor, he would take him down and submit him. Yeah. I think he's yeah, his submission game is pretty underrated. It's, it's really good. Yeah. So, uh, but. If Dos Anjos fight, oh, if he wins, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Connor uh, fights Frankie. That's what you should do anyway, in my opinion. Well, yeah. But let's yeah. not make this about Connor too much. <laughs> yeah. <that's true. laughs> All right. Well, so that's what we thought about the fights. Um, what do you think? Agree? Disagree? Let us know in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Right down here, down here, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> somewhere in the vicinity. All right, like us on Facebook. We don't have the page yet, but we will by the time this video goes out. Will we? Yeah. <laughs>